When we had last left V, it was a series of blasts from Johnny's past. Not V's past, but from Johnny's past. Yes, there was a cool date with Rogue that, well, it didn't end so cool at all. In fact, it ended pretty poorly for Johnny especially. But also, there was a reunion with one Carrie Eurodyne, Eurodine, one of Johnny's former bandmates, who was in a bit of a rough spot himself. And now it was time to help that dude out in some way and ring up Nancy. <laughs> this is Cyberpunk 2077. I'll come back. Let's do it, huh? Let's see. Can we do it from in here? Yeah. Here we are. Nancy Hartley. Give you a ring. Nancy? I mean, Bess? Bess Isis? No, this is her underpaid, underappreciated assistant. Steven, N54 News, how can I help? Wanna talk to Bess? She's not here. Let's go with this. What if we called not from this residence, though? Maybe you just fake it. Calling from Carrie Uridine's residence. Cool. But Bess still isn't here. She was supposed to be back two days ago. Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff, story on Maelstrom. Call back next week or just watch the news. If anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. Got a bad feeling, V. Think we better head to the Totentons. Isn't that, um, we've been there before, right? That is one of the big bars that Maelstrom gang hangs out at, right? We went up in there, I believe. Can I just grab this? No. Alright. Can I shoot it? <laughs> Can I blow this thing up? Man, it sure does take a lot of punishment. Alright. <laughs> Maybe it's bulletproof. Gosh, I hope we don't need to use this in the future for a mission or something. I don't I don't know if this thing's gonna blow up. It's on fire, but I don't know if it's gonna get any more spicy than this. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's it's changing any. Huh. Look, the robots don't seem to mind. <laughs> They don't mind at all. Maybe if I do a little bit of that. No? How about this one? Man. Rich people cars. Indestructible. Alright. Wow, Tonetons is like right over here. Holy shit. Really? No. This is just leading out of... yeah. This just leads us out of the place. Okay. That's not our car. There it is. Our new one. I bet mine blows up. Okay, let's do a little fast travel here. There we are. Pershing Street. Yeah, I'm almost positive we've been here before, right? Almost positive. Tech weapons were built for precision and their ability to pierce through solid cover. That is pretty good. Okay. We're here. Let's just run over this way. Let's do a quick save just as well, just in case. Actually, is there a vendor out and around here nearby? Hmm. There's a ripper dock over there. Should we go look at the ripper dock real quick? I think maybe we should. This might be one we've never investigated before, because they're right over there. Alright. We'll just run this way. Down this creepy corner. That's fine. Oh, look. There's some stuff here. Actually, maybe we have been to this one? This is starting to look kind of familiar now. I don't know. Look at that. What is this on my... What is this? What is this that's... That's popped up on my screen. What does this mean? This is the car that we bought, right? Huh. What does that mean? No. I don't want to 
I'm gonna beat these people up. I don't know what that means on my map, or next to my map. Does that mean, like, it's calling for my vehicle or something? It's never done that before. Is there something I can look at on my map? No. Weird. Oh. Okay. Is that new? Has it always done that? How weird. Okay. Let's just take all this junk. Oh, a double barrel. Neat. Anything else here? Yep, grab your junk. All these things. Okay. Can I take these? I cannot. Alright. Is there somewhere I can place a body around here? I'm not sure. Let's pick you up. It's a lot easier to look for a place to put a body if we're holding one, right? It's starting to really look like there is nowhere to put a body. Okay, we'll just dump you. Alright, over here. Oh, stow that away. Good. Have we been here before? Oh, we totally have. Oh, we can get a follow-up on our tattoo. So my tattoo... What? Got an infection? Maybe a moment's reflection. No, no, I've already come to terms. I was more curious if you ever inked anything more twisted. More twisted. Oh, well. Was this one guy who wanted Fuck Night Corp. All caps. Forehead. Front and center. Oh. Disgruntled ex-corpo? A suit at City Hall. Eh, so rest easy. I've been around a while. Seen worse. Wow, yeah, that's real fucked up. <laughs> what? That seems pretty not fucked up that much at all. You might have something more fucked up on you. Alright, let's see what you got. You have anything? Can I actually get this removed if I want? Eh, we'll keep it on. Fuck it. Let's see. Can we situate anything up there yet? No. Anything new here? No. Anything new here? Nervous system? No. Anything down here? Anything Anything good? No. How about legs? Anything? No. Okay. Trade? You got anything good here? Hmm. No. Though we could sell off a bunch of shit. Which we should probably do. There we go. Hmm. Should I equip this thing? Yeah, look at that tech revolver. Goodness. Deals so much damage. Yeah, maybe I'll swap Johnny's weapon for that. Just to have, like, a one-handed weapon. Okay. And then we gotta sell off a shitload more sniper rifles that we have crafted up. Lovely. There we go. Any others that are, like, super cheap? That'll do. Thanks. Okay, over here, and let's trade out our weapon. And... Yeah, we'll bop that on. Great. Cool. Does this have the charge-up shit? It looks like it shoots three bullets at once, doesn't it? Is that what this thing does? Huh. Well, I have no idea. Right there it totally looks like it, doesn't it? But from back here, it looks like it's just one. Is it a distance thing? No. Weird. What the heck? Is it because I was at an angle? Yeah. What? And look, this one doesn't produce a bullet hole. Dude, what the fuck? Where are the stats on this thing? Yeah, it doesn't say multiple pellets or anything. Huh. Weird. Alright. Let's get on out of here. Head back over to the Totentons. Yeah, I'm almost positive we've been to this place. Right? I don't think we ever went here for, like, a quest or anything, but... 
I'm pretty sure we win here, at least for. Fuck off, starting to come together. No man oh. would ever go for the Taunton tents, except Nancy. Maybe we came here in a flashback with Johnny. I don't know. Oh, a message from Carrie. Let's see. How's it going with Nancy? It's all under control. That's what I like to hear. All right, thanks. Thanks for checking in, Carrie. <laughs> yeah, we've definitely been here. Just wandering around. Top Come floor. On. Up you go. Okay, okay. There we are. Like your style. Minimalist. Used to have chrome just like that. Start moving. Dude, I wish we could get Talk different looking too. shit. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Third four. Press the button. Well, my fingers are numb. Okay. I can only push the third floor. Can we talk to this dude? No. Hey. Can I do anything with him? Nah. <laughs> okay, did this guy have a nerf? Oh. No, just fanatic. Tonight is today. Alright, guys. This one I like. Okay. Are we gonna end up playing here or something? Through Johnny? Later. Where are you going, dude? God, I hope he falls out the window. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Yo, he looks like someone in, like, a, a public urinal sometimes. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Sometimes someone will just come in <laughs> into, like, use a urinal, and they'll just prop their hand up like that, and they'll they'll even have their head down a bit like that, and they'll just pee. <laughs> Come on. Good lord. You'll blend in. No problem. Even if like even if you're trying to explicitly not pay attention to him, like it's it's unavoidable in life. It's unavoidable. <laughs> okay, let's go on over here. No, 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 no. Not another totem dance. Oh no, Scoop. not another one. Again. Alone this time. Huh? What's dumb dumb? No punk ass amigo today? One more word about him. And I stamp you out like a roach, got it? Got it. Feels like I know this guy. Why? Pretty loud in here. You renovating? Ha ha! Good thing Royce can't hear you. Tinnitus, apple of his eye. Royce, I. Ha ha. You a fan of your little gang group too? Well, more a fan of the classic. Samurai and all that. Like this guy already. Just not a word to Royce, hey? I thought, didn't we end on good terms with Dum Dum? Like we were kind of pals or something? Where'd you get your chompers done? Oh shit. Forgot you ain't seen these buttes yet. You know the before, now you see the after. What do you think? I can't really see. It's hard to tell. <laughs> I believe it though. Been here. Yeah, sure, I'll get some too. Want the same? Twinsies? Ah, you look gunk as fuck. <laughs> okay. Looking for Bess Isis in 54 News. No, she's here. She is, but she's busy. Talking to Royce. He told me not to bother him. Oh, I'll do the bothering. Lead the way. Come on, then. Royce, remember me fondly? Ditto. Has mentioned you. Royce and Bess getting on all right? Well, she ain't too right. Royce is being real fucking patient there. How'd she get him to agree to talk? Don't think anyone ever asked him about music. Not serious, like. And Royce? Likes being taken serious. <laughs> Man, ain't no one talking up in this club. <laughs> okay. They have effects for crowds talking, right? They definitely do. 
fucking opinion. Okay, here we go. Buzz, grit, distortion. That's what it's oh, about. it's up here. Feel I think that's Royce, right? Pulse in your teeth. It's music you chew up and shit out. That's cool that there's reactivity to the fact, like, we could have killed these people, right? Dum Dum and definitely Royce could have been dead, or at least Dum Dum, I think. Right? But it is also a little unfortunate. It's like a two double edged blade here. Because we are getting reactivity of them being alive, but we aren't getting reactivity of, like, us being on in good rapport with Dum Dum. Because I'm pretty sure we were, right? Or am I thinking of someone else? Like, he, like, escorted us out because we were on such good terms. Oh, she. Another media. This is V. Or Fu. Remember? Maybe. All the fucking V faces look the same to me. Can this wait? I still have a couple of questions. Well, you think you got all you need? You wanted half an hour of my time? We're on day three. Back to Nancy, all right. Change things up a bit. Let's just exhaust all these blue things. Well, what is it? Went for a cruise on the Abunake the other day. Your turf, right? Yeah. My people gave you a tour of the docks. I see. No more fishing. Might want to think about a better system than an old Athena 3. <laughs> Already pissing me off. What's worse, she might be right. Didn't have you pegged for a music key. But you know everything else about me, right? Hey. Maybe one more question from Bess? Why does Tinnitus only play the Totem Tans? Huh. Only place they get the right audience. The snob's the last thing I'd ever expect you to be. Cochlear implants. That's what Tinnitus plays on. So each of you is an instrument. Does that mean an element of mysticism? Oh yeah, we read about that in the uh, lore entry about how they played through, like, specific instruments. Yeah, and someone was complaining that it sounds like shit if you aren't Maelstrom or something. Well, got some biz with Bess. I don't know her. Carrie Uridine's in. Ah, Uridine, of course. Uh, where would you put him on the musical map? You know map? what happens when you filter all the pulp and shit out of juice? It gets clean, smooth, soft. Flies off the shelves in Corpo supermarkets. And what's it look like? Piss. That's one. That's <laughs> where I put rocker boy music. Now get the fuck out, both of you. Wasted enough time. I don't know why that got me so <laughs> good. <laughs> the juice looks like piss. Give us a minute. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Can I take this? Can I just take this? Thanks. Ooh, street kid check. Shouldn't have messed with Maelstrom. Don't know how you got him to let you in. They're gonna scan every damn file before you take one step out. And assuming they won't like what they see. Gonna lecture me or help me get out of here. All right, you gotta get her out of this. Let's just exhaust this shit and see where it goes. But you came here to do a music fluff piece. I did, but then I stumbled on something bigger. What? She's so quiet. Stay tuned to N54 News to find out. You gotta help me get out of here. How'd you plan to get out of this before I showed up? Uh, I'd have thought of something. Pretty good at improvising. Might have tossed someone out a window again. Let me copy the data and get it. They'll want to scan you too. Not as dumb as they look. Not about to do anything to draw any notice. Okay, here. What if I do, though? What if I do draw a lot of notice? Got it. Delete yours, then try and distract me. I'll sneak out. Okay, try the window. Guy's bathroom. <laughs> Classic. Then circle around the back. There's a sort of balcony there. I'll meet you by the elevator. On my way out. Go ahead. Scan my stuff. All right, sit down. So we'll come by. All right. Let's see. Let's track the optional thing. You gotta be kidding me. 
thought that was Would your you job. Look at that. She planned it all out. Wait, can we can we talk with Johnny? Had practice too. Most of our gigs she left via the window. Had to. Oh shit! Whoa, 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 whoa! Elevator, quick! Over here! Oh fuck! <laughs> oh god! All right. Geez, should we have gone quicker? Could we have actually done it? If I didn't like lollygag around talking to Johnny. I mean, we do need the XP, so we. Oh fuck! I think that's the first time someone used a flashbang. Go. All this shit. Ugh. Oh shit, you got a fucking ledge out. Oh shit, I want that. I mean, it is just a pistol. Oh, it's a. Oh, Doom Doom. No, is this Dum Dum? Oh god. Was it supposed to go down like this? I feel like we fucked up by going back to look at Johnny, right? Why? Jesus, poor fucking dum dum. I'm pretty sure he was the dude we were like on good terms with, right? We were like friends with dum dum. Who is this shooting me through here? Oh, I can open this. I should not be shooting with a pistol arrow. Go take all this stuff. Go here. Oh god, I did the ground slam thing. All right, take your shit. The fuck? There. Good. And then up here. Over here, shit bags. Good. I'm surprised at how much of a fucking damage sponge we can become in this. Right? Like I think I think we take even less damage than we do in the Skyrim playthrough, right? Come on out, you little chicken shit! Like, the only thing that's a real threat to us are explosives. There we go. Good. Yeah, if I had to play through this again, I would probably, um, if I knew better, I'd probably just do a pure stealth playthrough, right? Because that seems more, like, it would take way longer to get through the game, I'd imagine, but it seems way more fun doing stealth. That seems like it would probably be the most fun kind of playthrough you could get. We'll take that. Good. Anything else? I think, I think we wiped them all out. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh, dance floor. Can we do anything up here? Can we dance? Can I play something? Nah. Alright. There's one more dude somewhere. It's probably Royce. Did we take out Royce yet? Maybe he got out of the building. Oh, there's someone over there too. Fuck. Why is this elevator so damn slow? Go. I swear we won't even torture you. I think it's spawning in new dudes while we're like supposed to wait for the elevator. You know, video game stuff. There. We'll take this body. Dump it. Alright. Should be able to fit another one in there, huh? Yeah. That's free XP. Oh yeah, my handguns can go up a bit because we increased our reflex. I forgot. Finally at the stage where we're putting just a few points in a reflex. 
Let's pick up these bodies and move them over here. Into this thing. Good. I don't know if we'll max out stealth, but we might get close by the end of this. There. I think there's another one on the map, but I don't know if we, like, where the rest of the bodies are. Hmm. Well, it looks like, yeah, it just showed me the filled one. Yeah. Can I go back out here? I can technical it. Hmm. Yeah, no good. Okay. Let's get out of here. Got my car downstairs. Got everything? Yeah. Yep. Check this guy out. Er. Yeah, check her. Oh shit. That other thing's going. <laughs> Carrie, Henry, and Danny. You still in touch with anyone besides Carrie? Any who? Huh. Now she's an actress too. What does that say? Burn corpo on, shit. The car's just outside the entrance. Cool. Was asking about samurai. How old are you, kid? That's ancient history. Nobody gives a shit about samurai these days. Believe me, I'd know. Once in a while, news slows to a trickle, so I try to push through some nonsense about Silverhand. Where's Johnny? What actually happened in Arasaka Tower? Cool. Are you like a YouTuber or something? <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. The truth about Johnny Silverhand. Five facts about Johnny Silverhand that will shock you. Fuck. Oh, look at all the rain. Okay. There were less dudes in there than I thought. Oh, I guess we're driving? Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh no. Oh, it could've been worse. Wait, what? That's why you got a souvenir. Fuck souvenirs. Wait, what Head happened to it? back to the editing room. Wanna talk? Gotta come with me. Conquer like this. Hope it gets us there. One piece. I thought this was your car. Why'd you... Oh, the graffito. Okay. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be like that. Like, she w was really appreciating them or she came here intentionally in it. Because she didn't react to, like, back here when we were, like, looking. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, sure. Why not? Yeah, maybe you really do like tinnitus or whatever. But no, <laughs> that was unex... Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, gosh, we really got up in her face here. All right. So what's Carrie want? Wants to bring back Samurai. One gig, one night. There is no samurai without Silverhand. I'll play for Johnny. <laughs> you. Who the fuck Let's is just that? say Silverhand was more visionary than musician. You got this. Trust me. Well, if you got Carrie on board, what's in it for me? Believe I just saved your ass and your precious story mean to ask how do you know Royce biz some time ago fascinating son of a bitch isn't he oh we don't have a follow-up for that okay sure yeah how would this have gone down if we had killed Royce or can Royce not die during that prologue mission hmm I don't know but, as usual, you know, a lot of the cool stuff rests in these either main quests or main quests that spin off of uh, VIPs from the main quest, you know? Let's skip ahead. I love the look of that. It looks like one of those um, little electronics you get that has, like... Hop out. All right, so the concert... Tell Carrie I'll put it together. Be in touch. Okay, thanks. That has games pre-installed on it. You know, it's made to look like a Game Boy or something. And sometimes the games are legit or 
half the time they're like bootleg versions of games that you do know. It's just like a thousand games on here, and like well. ninety percent of them are just identical. If you suspect any rogue AI activity, can we take your car? Okay. Oh, let's give Carrie a ring. Is there anything out in this area that we want to look at, though, real quick? Nah, we've pretty much cleared everything at this end of town. Okay. Let's see. Here we are. Hey, so how'd it go? Talk to Nance? Yep, she agreed. Even said she'd organize the gig. Still a control freak. Awesome. Look, he changed his outfit, huh? Ran into a few hiccups with the good folk from Maelstrom. Fuck yeah. Listen, I <laughs> caught Henry. Dragged him out of rehab. Great story, actually. Henry didn't know. Denny's been in Night City all this time. On his way over to see her now. Gonna be a surprise. We're all gonna meet over at Denny's. <laughs> Denny's? <laughs> what a sentence! Get in touch with us, aren't you? Gotta meet the others. Send you the address. Fuck yeah, Carrie. Give me a fucking grand slam while you're at it, dude. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go over to fucking Denny's and feast, dude. <laughs> Alright. Let's head on up out of here. <laughs> there we are. Let's see over this way. Oh. Whoa. Future. What even happened? Did I run into this? Who else could have? If not, well, okay. I mean, based on the shit we've seen with some of the road road traffic, <laughs> the, the like pathing for it, maybe it did get wiped out by random people. Well, no, ma this is not meant to be floating. Something's missing here, huh? I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> oh yeah, look. Yeah, like this. Oh, weird. Okay. Let's see. Let's sell off some more junk. We certainly have a bit more. Here we are. Good. Get our money back up. Okay, we need to make sure not to sell these amazing other items. Huh, so is there, like, no way to resolve that situation peaceably? Maybe we really were meant to, like, escape to the, the toilet or whatever, and then... Yeah, I guess because we fucked around and listened to Johnny, right? It, we really were timed there in that that little segment. Okay. Here we are, almost got it all dealt with. Cool. Hey, where's Johnny's weapon? Where'd we put that thing? Oh, we probably can't even sell it, huh? It's probably completely, like, non-vendorable. Here we go. Let's check. Oh, yeah. Maybe because it's legendary iconic? I don't know. Can you sell iconic weapons? We can't sell Skippy either. Okay. Let's see over here. Go to Denny's Mansion. Cool. Cool. Consecutive attacks will deplete your stamina, causing a decrease in attack speed. A crouch, you can move silently. Without access to air, you will begin to suffocate- oh. I wonder if they originally intended there to be more water stuff in this game, you know? Given the presence of, like... What was it? The water breathing shit? Or the shit where, like, you can be undetected underwater? Like, I wonder if they intended there to be more, like, shit that you do around the docks and harbor areas, you know? Huh. It just had to be cut. See those? Huh, what happened here? She must have been renovating. Henry must have borrowed the truck. Gonk always was good at improvising. Maybe they're home. Try the intercom. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Tire tracks. Track? Tire! <laughs> Manufacturer? Coke has. Estimated weight 24 tons. Assessment? D 
Distinct tire tracks. Heavy truck. Here we got ourselves a heavy truck. Let's see, can I pop this thing off? Free XP. Hello? Right then. Guess we keep looking. No, oh, hang on. I just need to call him again, Johnny. They'll answer. They were probably just in the restroom. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll follow the tire tracks, huh? I mean, we could totally just jump it right now. But we'll see where it leads. Oh. See Carrie Peters. Yeah. Surprised his car didn't blow up on the way over. <laughs> just drive through the shrubs. It's enough damage to put over the you threshold. Who oh boy? Daddy, what? Sounds sadly familiar. What are you doing here? This is really your house? V. This is your uh, fucking pool? We got a problem. You're gonna pay for this, you piece of shit! Huh? You bet I will! Just so I can come back again! He doesn't look Maybe that then, angry. You'll tell me why the hell you left me to die in the street! Left you to die? Ugh, I wish you would fucking die! Why am I even standing here talking to you? That's what I'm wondering. Get the fuck out! What now? Already? No grand tour? Introduce me to the fam! Go anywhere near them and you're dead! I kid you not, I'ma whack your fucking head off! Oh, what? They don't know? Don't know what? That I lost years of my life to a scop bag like you? Yeah? <laughs> Fuck. Is that how you remember it? <laughs> Did he do a little a kick? Lot more than you. Okay, I think we I think we got to the end of it. Alright. Is this supposed to be Henry's surprise? Yeah, I obviously missed a few beats. Looks like he was holding some sort of grudge. So he flooded the pool with concrete. Oh, I didn't notice Henry that part. Did often get emotional. Know what happened between them? From what I've come to understand, one day then he disappeared without a word, then hid from Henry. I imagine that wasn't too hard, in his state of mind, either out of it, or in rehab. Yep. That is, till I gave Henry her address. What about the concert? Haven't gotten a chance to ask Denny yet. Doesn't look good, though. V, talk to them. Carrie will just make it worse. <sighs> Let's send Carrie in. Not really in my biz. <laughs> go, go, they'll get past it in a sec. Carrie didn't piss all over himself out of joy when he saw me either. This your backup? In case you forgot why the hell you came here in the first place? Carrie sent me. About the concert. What concert? Why isn't he here talking to me? Look, it's awkward. Carrie considers you both friends. What a sensitive guy. Shit. He's right over Even there, though. He's the one who set this flaming turd bag on my doorstep. We're bringing back Samurai. One night only. That's what he wants to get the crew together for? Sweet, but no fucking way. Not about to play with this shit stain. Danny! No, no way. Either him or me. Choose. <laughs> Danny digs in her heels. We're done. How's it going? Like shit, man. Danny wants me out of the gig. And we already agreed on everything. What? Carrie's paying you? That's what this is about? Fuck. It's all fucking great. So you get him away from me and get the fuck off my lawn. Don't make me choose. Hmm. Now what? Let's get through these blue things. You out of your fucking mind with the pool? You knew Carrie wanted to get Denny to play with us. Just wanted to clear the air. Fucking Prem.
Maybe if someone would tell me what happened. Are you blind? Fucker filled my pool with cement. <laughs> Maybe he had a good reason. <laughs> really? A reason? <laughs> Pretty sure it's your call. Fuck really pisses me off. Denny's on a control kick, setting conditions. On the other hand, Henry's got scop for brains. Can't trust him. Thanks. Real helpful. Mm. Gotta go without one or the other. Uh, yeah, not a problem. Should be able to borrow someone else for one gig. Won't be the same, though. It won't ever be the same, Carrie. All right. Let's get Denny. If we gotta choose, let's play with Denny. Fuck, Carrie! Seriously? She's the one making a big deal out of this, not me. Listen. Dude, I'll you fucked you it up and put cement all Fuck over the you. pool. Good thing Silverhand isn't here to see this. You done? Get out. All right, what about Nancy? We make contact. She's gonna... Set it all up and let us know. See you at the show. Fuck. Now I gotta find someone to clean this up. Oh, <laughs> we can just take that? Okay, about all we can do for now. Except wait for Nancy to call. Cool. So were both of them in the flashbacks as well, just like Carrie? Man, I don't remember them either. All right. Security bot line. Hey, you mind if I take this? It's a cold-plated baseball bat. Infused with Denny's rage. High chance to apply bleeding, low chance to apply stun. The rage of Denny's. Everything okay? No. Just the sight of that douchewad reminded me how not okay it is. Don't worry, though. Douchewad. We passed it by showtime. Wonder what Henry did to her. So his fault after all. Well, normally Denny's not a raging bitch. Well, pretty sure she knew Henry wanted this concert. Hmm. Doubt she really gave a fuck about the pool. I believe that. Let's see, Johnny. You have anything else to say? Because I mean, ultimately, this is just a bunch of like squabbling between. Now rich pricks, right? <laughs> Let's see. Can we get stuck on any of this? Nah. Mm -mm. Neat. Okay. Can I go in your house, by the way? Do you mind? Oh, no, it's locked. It's probably not modeled or anything inside. Right? I could, I believe that. All right. Let's see. If we jump on top of the house, though. Eh? Yeah? Anything on top? Oh, there we go. Anything? Frab oh no, some lore. Hey! About Carrie. Should we read this? I don't know. We may have already read it though, now that I think of it. Oh shit, are these bombs? No, it's just red. Okay. Sure. Well, what else do we have around here that we can fucking hit up, huh? Shit, I don't know. Hmm. You know what? Actually, maybe it is a good enough time to begin doing some reading. Right? Yeah, we still got a few of these important shards and plenty of seemingly unimportant ones that we could delve through. Alright. Yeah, when next we come back, we'll continue on with all this stuff. Right? If you want to stick around, we'll be doing a little bit of reading. Right? Oh, hey. Hey, we can chat him up still, I bet. Sorry it played out like that. Mm, nothing. Okay. Oh, can I do this again? No. Alright. Too good to be true. Alright, let's see. What all do we have as far as reading materials concerned? Get out of there, shards. Okay. The Last Rocker Boy, the solo career of Carrie Eurodine, Eurodine. The friendship between Johnny Silverhand and Carrie Eurodine, as well as the trauma behind Johnny's 
mysterious disappearance have contributed to the cloak of misinformation that has obscured the true story of samurai for years. The stubbornly loyal Uridine always kept silent about the foundational leadership role he held in the cult band. To the detriment of his own career, he paid full tribute to Silverhand, granting him full authorship over the band's songs. Following, following Samurai's disintegration and a personal retreat to the Philippines where Carey rediscovered his creative roots, Uridine cut ties from the past and began the next chapter of his legacy. Sorry, I say the Philippines like that because I am part Filipino, so <laughs> just out of instinct whenever it comes up. I'm like, whoa, the Philippines! <laughs> All right, uh, sorry. Today... It has become clear beyond doubt that his own successes not only match those of Samurai's, but have repeatedly surpassed them. Carrie's effortless, natural charisma and strong stage presence electrify crowds without fail. By comparison, Silverhand's fiery shouts and political grandstanding appear now as nothing more than ordinary attention-grabbing designed to mask the otherwise pedestrian quality of his musical talent. Oh, man. I kind of like that. I kind of like that bit of world building and shit, you know? How people react and their takes to the two of them. Huh. All right. Let's see. Let's go through this. Anything else below other that we need to read through? Fairly certain there was some... Yeah, there's a few other things down here, but looks like we've gotten them all. No. All right. Yeah, there's quite a few. Okay. How about 1,000 beats a second? I couldn't believe my eyes. For a moment, I thought Jessica had changed them out for faulty Kiroshis while I was asleep. But no, that wouldn't have been like her. I blinked again. No change. There, I saw them. Clear as day. The open flaps of Jason's chrome skull. I saw the electronic brain that up until now had been hidden by perfect imitation sin skin. The son of Future Tech CEO, the boy of my damn dreams, Jason. He was an android. Shit. <laughs> I sat there, stuck with a dumb expression on my face and Jason stared back with one of his own. I couldn't help but wonder now, were those beautiful blue eyes of his the same that had pierced my soul? Were they merely a mimicry controlled by some emo algorithm? Had there never been anything real behind them all those times? Not once. Alex, it, it's not what you think. He pleaded with a strange, authentic note of panic in his voice, and I wanted to believe him. I really did. Huh. Well, it clearly hasn't been. I replied in equal parts anxious and bitter. Me and my rotten luck. The first and last guy I fall for, and he turns out to be a damn motherboard on legs. No, that's not... Jason suddenly broke off and smiled awkwardly. Wait, did you, did you say fall for? My cardio implant began to beat more and more quickly. My face flushed. Had I been wrong? Could this body of bolts, wires, and plastic really contain what as, whatever is left of the real Jason Cadales? If his father was able to design a synthetic heart for me, maybe... He could do the same for his son's brain. The question is, why? <gasps> dun dun dun. The Chronicles of Titania. 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 Book one. Like I said, I never have any idea how to pronounce that name. You haven't an idea what you're talking about. The green haired woman snorted and mockingly smiled. I visited many worlds, each built on a lie. All. Although this might be the first time I've seen its people so stubbornly close their eyes to it. Visan felt a rage swell inside of him. 
How dare this woman, an outsider to the utopia of Titania, so harshly criticize a system that has guaranteed the happiness of millions, he thought to himself. If anyone is blind here, it's you, Visan finally erupted. Titania knows no inequity, no scarcity. For the first time in human history, everyone belongs to the privileged class. The woman smiled softly with a mischievous twinkle in her amber eyes. Is that so? She asked. And your, and your work at this cannery? Why are you so unhappy there? Visan forced himself to remain calm, and in truth, he wasn't sure why the stranger's comments made him so upset. Perhaps it wasn't the foreigner's fault that she could not comprehend that humankind finally achieved the ideal society. Her home, as she described it, resembled a primitive world, one long tainted by the stain of feudalism. In a sense, she was like a child. Intelligent, yes, but ignorant and self-righteous to a fault. There must be a group within society responsible for this type of work, Visan explained. Thankfully, due to the advancement of robotics, the means of production have become fully aut automized and shifted away from our hands. We now serve only in supervisory roles. So to answer your question, no, I'm not unhappy. The robots do my work for me. Wait, you do know what robots are, right? Of course I do. We have something similar, only made from clay and stone. The lime-haired woman replied, still with a smug tone in her voice. Very well, your world has done away with work done by hand. But if that is the case, does that not mean workers such as yourself have lost their former value? Are you suggesting that there are none who govern your progress from above your standing, who determine your responsibilities? No response. The woman's golden eyes flashed as she laughed at Visan's confused, flustered silence. My apologies. The stranger's lips curled into an embarrassed smile. Maybe you are an equal member of this corpo... corporation? But, of what I've seen here, nothing about it matches what you have described. Oh. Okay. Let's see, let's scroll down more. Anything else here of interest? How about... Beelzebub's Tales to His Grandson? Even before our arrival, many beings in Babylon had lost their minds over this subject. While many others were inching closer to the same fate, the burning question of the day, the question that racked the brains of both pitiful scientists of normal beings of Babylon, was this. Do we have a soul or not? There were all sorts of the most fantastic theories on this subject, with new ones appearing all the time, and each and every one of the tempting hypotheses had its supporters. Despite the overwhelming number and diversity of these beliefs, they were all based on one of two completely opposing premises. The first was called atheism, while the other was idealism, or dualism. All dualistic hypothesis, hypotheses held the soul existed, and, of course, that it was immortal and could suffer many things even after the death of the being. Meanwhile, the atheistic theories held the complete opposite view. In short, my boy, when we came to Babylon, we came upon what could only be called constructing the Tower of Babel. Bushido and Neo-Postmodernism. One more. The Bushido franchise, oh, the franchise itself, right, that we've heard so much about and all that, right? We even just went on the date and, and shit. The Bushido franchise is a litmus test of our time. 
this groundbreaking film series puts on full display the entire spectrum of American society, masterfully pointing out the greatest problems of the neo-modern era. Live fast, die never was, in its own way, a generational manifesto on the affirmation of life. The use of vivid colors, shaky cinematography, ubiquitous blood effects, and the pervasive brain splatter testifies to the extraordinary self-awareness of the director, who once revealed in an interview how he fucking loves it when hot chicks dissect the shit out of the bad guys. Perhaps no other concept more aptly describes the underlying societal ethos when Bushido 3 was released. Especially worthy of note is the repetition in subsequent installments of the implant bomb motif through the prism of which the protagonist reinterprets reality. One example of this convention's flawless implementation appears in the latest film in the series, Bushido 10, Fade to Black, the scene in which the powerful Gorira disembodies the arm of Jake as played by the transcendent Tim Kelly, demonstrates in brilliant form the duality of the human condition. On the one hand, Jake loses his cybernetic arm, a symbol of both his tragic past and the ongoing techno-ontological conflict within his psyche. On the other hand, it is precisely due to this dismemberment that Gurira is blown to bloody bits by a sensational explosion sequence, the final disintegration of the antagonist's body into a blood spray of gore. How should this be interpreted? It is a metaphorical cry of deeply rooted despair, a manifestation of the personal transgression. This fragmentation of body could likewise be interpreted as a fragmentation of the individual mind, thus provoking the question, whose mind? Indeed, had everything the viewers seen of Jake's struggle been, in fact, a personified, embodied fear? Had he not been embroiled in epic battle with a vile monster, but only, but rather only with himself? Could the entirety of Jake's narrative been only a manifestation of some cyber-psychotic dream state? Among all the depth and nuance that has defined this franchise since its inception, only one thing is truly certain. Bushido has forever changed the world of cinema. Right, this is like them riffing on... Sometimes a critic will read very deeply into something that doesn't have nearly as much deep meaning as they had presumed, right? Which I think is more rare, right? I think it's more rare that someone reads into something and finds... Well, at least when it comes to... I would say probably most film does have some kind of level of deeper meaning, right? It's more often than not that something has, like, a, a deeper meaning in some way. Well, I don't know. <laughs> there is a lot of film, so maybe not. Maybe that's not true. Maybe that's not true. Maybe maybe I'm, I've am i got too narrow of a scope, right? I don't know. But that's definitely what this is riffing on, is someone reading into and finding something interesting within something that's a lot more mundane than they uh than they believe, right? Which in and of itself actually isn't a problem, right? If even if the authorial intent wasn't to have like a deeper uh, ponderous meaning to it, there's still value in someone else happening to find that there, right? It's just that you like, when you realize that, it's important to recognize that it is purely you who drew that interpretation out from it, right? It, but most of the time, most <laughs> I guess most people who create that shit will not say, yeah, I didn't intend for it to be that way. It, you just saw that in it, right? But being able to see stuff in other shit like that, that doesn't, that wasn't intentionally put there, that's kind of the, the magic of, I don't know of like reading a book or watching a movie, watching a show, playing a game, right? Being able to find something in there that wasn't intentionally put in there, right? 
Unless, of course, it's something fucked up, right? <laughs> In which case, that's not good. That's not good. If you read into it, you're like, oh, yeah, this is telling me to hate people. <laughs> right? Good Lord. This this right here, the read on this is telling me to hate Filipino people. <laughs> Good lord. In, in which case, that's pretty fucked up. That's fucked up. All right. Well, when next we come back, like I said, we will um, we'll continue on with this stuff. Well, I guess we'll do side quests because we still need to wait a day for Nancy's call. And guess what? We have a shitload of random ass side quests here available to do. We've got plenty of assaults in progress. Right? So we'll do all that. We won't actually wait a physical day or an actual day in game we'll do stuff we'll fill that time until next time please take care of each other